Oh god, why are these Oh god, no, 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 Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, we're here and today we're back. Back again, uh, back with, uh, Bastion. Uh, fuck man, I fucking love this game so goddamn much, it's so awesome. Uh, looks like we actually unlocked another memorial from the last bout of shit that we did. Uh, the Breaker's Bow, defeat three bow uh, three foes with a single will time power shot. Um, so we get 500 the points breakers. for that. Ain't no one could outrun them. Or their arrows. Fuck yeah. The one thing I really like is that they give you enough history that you feel like there could be just so much more behind it. Like the Breakers, the, the Marshals, like they build these characters up, but they never really explain very much what they did. And I think that me, personally, I love playing D&D &D and other like role-playing games, and I think it would be awesome to have a Bastion RPG. But before the Calamity, like you could be a Marshal, you could be a Breaker, you could be, you know, you know um, a nobody, really. All right, so then we got all these fucking challenges, which are fucking tough. Uh, let's go ahead and go here uh, to um, the Pyth Orchard. Uh, it should be nestled by the Shrine of the God of Commotion and Order. So, There's Pith Orchard, built in honor of the bull, and folks like Zulf who pray to him. Pith. I'm sorry. Pith. I'm sorry about that. Level up to raise the drink limit at the distillery. All right. Got to get a little bit older. A little bit wiser, drink a little bit more. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Alright. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? I don't think it could. Pith Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Mm. All right, let's keep going. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the orchard core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Plush Pith. The gods don't care about trinkets. But the kid ain't no god. All right. Pith stood for something once. Something real. Their gods and Bastion seem a lot like voodoo gods, where they're more just out to kind of fuck you over and make your life more difficult. Though, the bull stopped being a symbol. And started being decoration. Um, and yeah, they they, they just kind of fuck you over, and they they kind of couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Yeah, and so like people like pray and appease the gods for the sake of them not coming down and killing them, as opposed to having a, a you know a, a reverent god who who you praise because you know you love them. Um, it's more out of fear and respect than out of love, I suppose. Um, Piff makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Don't say that. Don't say that about Piff, please. Then Piff lights up. God the damn it! The gods oh, ain't gonna catch you if you fall. Ain't easy punching through his hide. God damn Must it! Been guarding that shrine. Fucking pith. That was that was a weak pith compared to what I fought in the uh, in the one so before. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off. Okay, so like, here we go. Pith. Check it out. If we invoke the gods, uh, they do different things, but pith makes foes foes shall strike quicker, or shall grow quicker to move and to strike. Um, so he makes, if you, if you pray to the gods, they make your life way more difficult by increasing the difficulty of this game, but you get, once again, 10% more 
monies per kill and you get 10 percent more xp per kill so it does make the game more difficult but it also gives you a reward as well if you happen to survive it and each of the gods does that they do things that like will fuck you over like percocet but at the same time uh if you are able to succeed they reward you greatly for your uh your uh, acknowledgement i guess so we'll go ahead and and fuck we'll do pith fine kid decides to press his luck Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. <laughs> Fuck, man. They, they wrecked my goddamn soul. Fuck you! <laughs> Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. Fuck! <laughs> she just made it like way more difficult. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. We we can turn off Pith later on uh, once we build the shrine. So we'll just have to do like one level of, of like really tough enemies, and you know, that's not gonna kill us. We got this fucking OP bow, by the way. Fuck you, bitch. Excuse me. Excuse me. OP bow. Fuck off. Aw, oh, shit, I missed. <laughs> oh, God. Why are these... Oh, God. No, 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 Kid passes Pith's trial, and he's richer for it. God damn it! Oh fuck! Fuck these things! Ugh! Let's get the hell out of here. Kid ain't found the core. At least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Fuck this, Zolf. You can have your shrine. <laughs> oh, well, that was a quick in and out. And yeah, we can now talk we about... we can build a shrine of our own. Though I got some alternatives in mind. I hope so. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, oh, look. Here we go. Check this out. Oh, wait. It's not there yet. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I, ignore it. I said anything. Zolf, let's talk about this 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 plush pith that's Zolf about the plush toy from pith orchard uh would you like to hang on to this or people worship the same gods as us after all Zolf doesn't touch the thing says the god of commotion is no children's toy yeah the gods see it as an insult but look we have our own steam bowl he's nice there you go Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Give the little tiger a break. Oh, I like the little guy. Talk about the plush toy from Pith Orchard. Gods didn't bother to stop the calamity, did they? The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Hmm. It's no wonder why they just fucking abandoned us. All right, uh, let's, let's keep going. Skyway. Uh, we have... The Langston River, core detected, was last seen halfway down the river bank in the shadow of Prosper Bluffs. And then we have all these challenges that I'm no good at. Uh, so let, let's go. That's the Langston River. Used to cut all the way to the wild. Think it was bad then. Hmm. I mean, it's bad now. Uh, let's go. It's not necessary to do any of the challenges. It really isn't to complete this game. Uh, they're just fun little things. They give you they give you more um, more materials to work with though, and they unlock. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Maybe um, all that water just grew wings and flew off. Um, but unlocking uh, but doing the challenges unlocks special moves that you can do. Uh, which is great because special moves are like the uh, like the bow bouncing back and forth or like my little squirt that that he fucking 
uh, comes and helps me every now and then with the grenades. Riverbank swarming with windbags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous ferry barge is still afloat. Oh, really? Weeping Millie. Nice! You send some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. Fuck off! They try to cut her off. Uh-uh. Nay-nay. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, Weepin' Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though. She hits a snag. Oh, shit. No, Weepin' Nelly. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. After all, that's only fair, right? Uh, I don't need the health right now. Damn it. Let's get rid of these fucking she things. picked a good spot for a break. Because the core is right there. Nice. Uh, let's check this place out first. Cause that looks like the way to the core. Uh, arsenal. Ah, oh, fuck. No, we're good with what we got. That's fine. Uh, anything over here? No, nothing. It's cool how occasionally you'll find stuff like that, and it'll allow you to, to do like these mid-game kind of uh, changes real quick. Uh, they always have an arsenal when you find a new weapon. But uh. Every now and then they'll have one. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. Shit. Peckers. They had their own eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. Fucking assholes. I hate Peckers. He finds Weeping Nelly raring to go. Oh, I forgot about this. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, should I activate you? Let's do this. I'm ready. She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Traffic things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. See, this is where the uh, the shotgun actually comes in handy. Because the shotgun takes care of these birds pretty quick. Uh, because they fly in packs. Security skiffs keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. I don't think I can hurt my... No, I can't. Great. I was kind of worried there for a second that I can hurt my own turrets. Uh, I know that wouldn't make too much sense. Windbags get an even better idea. Shit! 
They aim to smash we've been Nelly to splinters. You can aim all you want. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. Oh no! Nelly, no! Nelly! Nelly! She's just gotta make one last stop. Come on, Nelly, you can do it. I believe in you, Nelly. With her last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Thank you, Nelly. Solid ground and picker country. They want that core real bad. It seems a calamity ain't hurt the picker's appetites. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Not even once. <laughs> Now, listen close. You should remember this next part. Uh, okay. I, I don't I don't remember if I'm supposed to go down there or not. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. Hmm. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Fuck those plants, man. They leave like poison. Uh, poison behind. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Come on, fuckers. Where is ya? I know you're here. <laughs> Got you, dumbass. Prosper Bluff. I mean, just think of the 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 D&D the &D campaign. Better get here something he ain't heard in a long while. <gasps> this is like... I didn't know this was this area. This is How's like it go again. My favorite fucking song. Seriously, like I can play this on repeat for just hours and hours and hours. Yeah, that's the one. I take my home, you build a wall. Ah, 
how do I get in there? Is it down here? It is. Sorry, I'm just like singing and I'm singing like really poorly too. I'm not a singer, by the way. Uh, I don't do karaoke. Um, I'm no expert at music. I mean, I guess I am. I kind of, I know how to play alto sax. Uh, so anybody out there who took band and you're like playing saxophone and you're just like too afraid to admit it, like own up to that shit. Alto sax is the fucking heat. What is this? Hello? Yeah, I know how to play alto sax, I know how to play piano. Kinda. I can only play piano because I know how to read music, I guess I could say. But uh, I'm a drummer well, by trade. No point explaining what happens next, right? Hide Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. For too long. Hmm. The singer agreed to return to the bastion. Nice. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. <laughs> but there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Alright, so let's ask around. Uh, Zia, uh, talk about ancient spices. Uh, talk to Zia about ancient spices from the melting pot. Uh, eating this stuff is a, rite, is a rite of passage in the city. Did the Ura like it? Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Nice. So she was born and raised in the city. So she doesn't know Ura life. She only knows Ceylonia life. Uh, bronze spyglass. Uh, not too much to see out there beyond the bastion, but maybe you'll find something. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the marshal's badge. Uh, did the marshals ever give you any trouble? You seem worried whenever you see this badge. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? And a hidebound journal. Ask Zia about the journal from her campgrounds. A traditional Ura script was outlawed in the city. Is this your handwriting? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Hmm. So she doesn't know how to read uh, the Ura language. Um, and the journal is her father's. And I most certainly don't know how to read Ura language. Uh, oh, that's a lost and found. I was like, what the fuck is that? Uh, anything in here? Anything worth upgrading? No? Nothing? Okay, uh, let's talk to Zolf. Zolf, tell me... Uh, no, no, I'm going to talk to you last. Ruckus, tell me about the Hidebound Journal. Uh, can you read any of this? Do these charts and formulas mean anything to you? If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. All right. And Zolf, tell me about the journal. Uh, what do you make of these drawings and diagrams? Isn't this written in your native language? The scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. It ain't finished here yet. Oh. Sorry, I forgot that uh, we had this. My bad. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. All right, so we only got one core left to find, and uh, we are going to go ahead and build ourselves a shrine. Um, plans for a facility whose sacred idols may bring fortune or ruin. It just needs a place to build it. Whether the gods will help or hinder in the wake of the calamity is anyone's guess. Uh, new idols available. Behold, the Pantheon. 
All right, so as we go, we can unlock more Pantheons. Um, but we have uh, Akabi, Goddess of Oath and Abandon. Uh, foes shall have vengeance in the throes of death, meaning they explode. Uh, no one bound... Uh, no one bound the chastised maid save herself. Her shackles are her own design. Uh, and this gives us no bonus and no XP bonus. Uh, so no monies and no XP. It's just a way just to fuck yourself. So, uh, nah, we're good. And in fact, uh, we're going to... Uh, oh, no. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. All right. Uh, all right. Mm. Mm. Let's check out the lost and found real quick. Um, maybe we'll be able to find something worth having. Lost and found. Uh, something coarse, something nasty, something heavy. Uh, whale's L. Uh, Jevil. It's an idol. A uh, god of health and atrophy. Uh, foes shall gain resilience to physical harm. Half the tower's face is that of his youth and his prime. The other half is an old man. Uh. Hence is the goddess of pain and pleasure. Foes shall strike with greater ferocity. They say a veiled widow is smiling beneath her robes. Her body all scratches and scars. Uh, okay, well, we don't really want any of that. Uh, I, do we need anything here? No? No? Are we good? I think we're good. All right. Actually, I think that's that's going to be it. I think that's going to be it today. We, we actually did pretty good today. We found ourselves a singer, uh, and, and we did good. We found another core piece, so we just need one more core piece, and we'll complete the Bastion. So uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me uh, here at Bastion. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and try to get that final core piece, and uh, hopefully we'll just finish off the Bastion as well. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out, everyone. I dig my hole, you build a wall. Oh